In this video, we're going to talk about deformation of ductile rocks. <laughs> when rocks deform in a ductile manner, instead of fracturing to form faults or joints, they may bend or fold. Folds result from compressional stresses or shear stresses acting over considerable time. Because the strain rate is low and or the temperature is high, rocks that we normally consider brittle can behave in a ductile manner. So again, for brittle rocks to behave in a ductile manner, the strain must be low or the temperature must be high. Folds are described by their form and orientation. That's why we have the geometry of folds. So this is the limb. The limbs intersect at the tightest part of the fold called the hinge. A line connecting all points on the hinge is called the fold axis. An imaginary plane that includes the fold axis and divides the fold as symmetrically as possible is called the actual plane. Now, we recognize several different kinds of folds. First is the monoclines. These are the simplest types of folds. Monoclines occur when horizontal strata are bent, so that the two limbs of the fold are horizontal. Next, we have the anticlines. These are folds where the originally horizontal strata has been folded upward. The two limbs of the fold dip away from the hinge of the fold. Next, we have the synclines. These are folds where the originally horizontal strata have been folded downward. And the two limbs of the fold dip inward toward the hinge of the fold. So in the diagram, the fold axes are horizontal. But if the fold axis is not horizontal, the fold is called a plunging fold. And the angle that the fold axis makes with the horizontal line is called the plunge of the fold. Note that if a plunging fold intersects a horizontal surface, we will see the pattern of the fold on the surface, as you can see here in the image above. As a result of folds, dome and basin characteristics are formed. Dome looks like an overturned bowl <laughs> resulting from crustal upwarping. Basin looks like a bowl and this is the result from subsidence. Now there are two kinds of folds, the open fold and the tight fold. So what's the difference? The difference is that open fold has a large angle between limbs. The tight fold has a small angle between limbs. This diagram shows the counterpart of each fold from the open fold and the tight fold. So symmetrical folds if the two limbs of the fold dip away from the axis with the same angle. Asymmetrical fold if the limbs dip at different angles. Isoclinal folds, isoclinal folds occur if the compressional stresses that cause the folding are intense. Okay. Now, it's an overturned fold if the folding is so intense that the strata on one limb of the fold becomes nearly upside down. We will have a recumbent fold if an overturned fold with an actual plane that is nearly horizontal. It will be called as chevron fold if this is a fold that has no curvature in its hinge and straight-sided limbs that form a zigzag pattern. Ito po si Judy Ann Santa sa Gonsilio. Hanggang sa susunod. Isang mahigpit ay ako.